Here we are, the week of April 13th, 2015. One of the most prevalent misconceptions about astrology is the degree of personal accuracy it provides. Listen carefully. With that in mind, it's important to stress that the themes are prevalent rather than specific events. Observers of astrology often look to the stars for answers, and while astrology is incredibly accurate and reliable, we must temper that concept with a degree of levity. It is quite easy to read astrology and apply it to one's life in meaningful context, and that is appropriate. What is less useful is to try and find the specific event that may occur at a specific time. A theme is just that. It's a broad arc of influence that accounts for certain prevailing topics or events to appear in your stage. What is unreasonable to expect is the sky to fall or a pot of gold to appear out of nowhere. Those extremes are important as illustrative categories simply because most people want riches and happiness, but also fear catastrophe and collapse as the alternative. The truth of the matter is that neither extreme may occur, but rather a variation on that theme. For example, Jupiter transiting your sign might indicate an opportunity for abundance or good fortune. While that is generally true, remember that Jupiter also amplifies that which it touches. So you will get that check in the mail or wonderful news perhaps. Who knows? Quite possibly, but it will, set you, it will not set you on easy street for the remainder of your life. It's just not likely. However, Rather than be disappointed, stop and realize the accuracy of the theme. If good fortune was highlighted theme in your specific world, then the outcome was, was truly spot on. However, if your expectation was unreasonable, you may come away disappointed or even unaware. And therein lies the crux of the matter. Expectation of a specific magnitude may leave you feeling empty or unfulfilled. The astrology may have been accurate because a theme was clearly evident. An arc of possibility truly existed. What may have been missing was a reasonable estimation of your expectations. Astrology truly works and delivers fabulously. The secret is to have, is to have expectations that are real and look for surrounding events that support the outcome. Tease the details out of the event and you'll find the truth. The coming week may be calm considering the recent astrological weather we have experienced with eclipses and Jupiter going direct. Jupiter is now going direct as I mentioned and we will be cruising through the mid degrees of Leo bringing attention and amplification to an area of your life. Where is that area of your life? We may see that influence tempered as Venus stares across the zodiac at Saturn, now in retrograde. Jupiter direct. Saturn retrograde may truly present a seesaw encounter where we long for abundance, but responsibility rears its necessary head. With tack deadlines deep in the middle of the week, we can certainly visualize what that might look like. This underscores the comments made earlier about expectation. The story will unfold, but we have to be realistic about our anticipated outcome. This is where interpretation becomes critical. A well-balanced astrology reading can shed insight into the potential that may exist and it will be accurate. We'll find the right theme. Your expectations must also be in line in order to reap the value of the potential that exists. This allows one to enter into a period with a sense of preparedness that is within the realm of daily possibility. Elsewhere, slow-moving Pluto will begin his retrograde this week as well. With that, we can expect we cannot expect a blast of revelation, but rather a slow grinding shift of newness around a long bend in the road. Does astrology work? Without question. Are your expectations realistic? That is the answer we seek. It's important to understand what I'm saying here. Astrology is incredibly accurate. You can get the granularity that you want, but it may not be on the day, the minute, the time that you expect. When you're in a theme of relevance, of arc of, of, of influence, as I mentioned, you'll know something of that theme is going to occur in your life at that time. Listen to my uh, podcast each week, Turning the Wheel uh, podcast on iTunes. Uh, you can also reach me for a reading at 978-393-1036. My website is, is turningofthewheel.com and chrisofflisher.com. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Obviously, I'm on YouTube. And I also have um, a public television show that's beginning to air as well. Um, I encourage you to look into astrology, get an accurate interpretation from someone that knows what they're doing, and see what it, what it bodes for you. I'm always available for you, and I will see you all next week. Take care.